so happy we alive. He's a foot over the rim. Yeah, now that rim is quite low. <laughs> <laughs> Those are our promo shots. <laughs> promo shots to make people think that these guys are really good. Wow. Here's here's a picture. Yeah, that's up. Uh, that guy there is the bass player with the Count Basie band. That was down at the Jazz Factory. Oh, okay. And here's uh, Christian McBride, a very famous bass player. Oh, okay. So you travel up to New York quite a bit and around no, not the country? A whole lot. No, I, I go to the convention up there once a year. They seem to. It's all kinds of people year. here. Oh, yeah. There's uh, Oscar Peterson, yeah. Okay. And this guy is Dave Holland. That was out at uh, Portland, Oregon. And that's Hilton Ruiz, piano player. Let's see. Here's uh, Christian McBride down here. And here's a couple of dear friends. Jerry Coker on the left, very famous jazz educator, and Gary Campbell on the right, uh, another jazz educator. Great. Here's an interesting picture here. Uh, we went to Australia in 1979, and that's the entire group. See David Baker there, with, Baker with the afro, and yeah. Dave, Dave Liebman down in the front row. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here's Brad Mildahl when he was in Louisville, Kentucky years ago before he became famous. Uh -huh. Here's a uh, guy from Louisville, Linhart, David Linhart. He played with the John Hendricks for a long time. Now he kind of does his own thing. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. There's David Williams, a bass player from New York. That was taken out of French Lake at a jazz festival a year or two ago. This is kind of my base post here. Oh, this is base post. Okay. Uh, sort of, yeah. There's Horace Silver, Silver up there. He's not a base player, but I just stuck him up there. Just kind of going down the pole here. Lots of people in your life. Here's uh, here's David Hazeltine. He was in town last week playing at the Baumhart Theater with uh, uh, can't think of her name, a singer. Anyhow, uh -huh. he does our summer camps with us. Wow. Yep. Great. So a lot of people come through uh, the Louisville area here, and if, while they're here, I try to get my camera out and take pictures of them. <laughs> <laughs> here's another, here's a famous guy whose name I can't even think of now. Here's uh, Ray Brown again with his trio at the University of Louisville. Uh-huh. Somebody having some corn on the cob there. Somebody having corn cob, probably some jazz musician. Yeah. <laughs> From times gone by. Yeah, if you... Uh, this, Holy cow. I don't know if you can shoot over there and get a picture of my uh, my LP collection. Oh, here? Yeah. Well, that looks like quite a collection. I often Holy say I cow. spend all my tobacco, alcohol, and other drug money on records. Uh huh. So I have something to show. Oh, this is a nice collection. It goes all the way around the wall, and then I've got a couple more stacks in the back. I ran out of room. Wow. Of course, I've started CDs, too. And now, remember this picture here now. Oh, yeah. Aren't you in that picture? Let's yeah. see. i got to get it to where uh, I get the light off of it here. Can you point to, to where you are? Yeah. That's oh, that's good. That's me there. Uh, Steve Cruz gave me this, local piano player, uh -huh. at the Toast back on November the 4th. And there, there was a vacant space there. And there's an interesting story to this. Up in New York at the convention a month ago, there was a booth and they were selling posters. Uh -huh. And I went up and I said, uh, well, you know, da-da-da-da-da, and a friend of mine stuck my picture right there. Well, the lady said, you know who was supposed to be there? I said, who? She said, Willie the Lion Smith, the boogie-woogie piano player. Said he had gotten hot and went over here on the steps and sat down. Uh -huh. So when they took the picture, he he was out of the picture. <laughs> I said, well, she she said something like, so you took Willie the Lion's place. I said, well, I can't do that, but I'm standing there. <laughs> yeah, that's a famous that's picture. That's cute. Lester Young, Dizzy Gillespie, Thelonious Monk, Marion McPartland, Oscar Pettiford, Coleman Hawkins, Pee Wee Russell. Who else? Art Farmer up at the top. Oh, uh, looks like, was that Paul Quinnache, Horace Silver, and some of the others I don't recognize. Wow. 
Uh, okay. This, this what, instrument here. Yeah, I was going to say, that doesn't look like a jazz instrument. No, that's a uh, instrument, and it's got a name. I, I don't know what the name is. I can't think of it. It's from Africa. A fellow I met uh, by correspondence uh, and have helped over there, his name is Lord Quist, Q-U-I-S-T. And he plays the trumpet, and I think he teaches at a college over there in Ghana, West Africa. And he sent uh -huh. me this for a Christmas present. Uh -huh. It's got one string on it. Holy cow. <laughs> and it's, you just sort of... And that's it. And believe it or not, it was wrapped up in paper, which I can show you in just a second. And it was sent through the post office and actually got here in one piece. Wow. That, that is a, that must have... Uh, they saw yeah. it was coming to you. I moved the paper. Oh, there it is up on top. <laughs> you saved the paper. Well, I just thought wow. since the post office did such a job, good job of getting in here, Here's this the, is what it was wrapped the in. The U.S. post office gets gold stars for they that. They do get a gold star for that. That is for sure. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. All the way from Africa. Pardon me? All the way from Africa. All the way from Ghana, West Africa, by way of the post office. Wow. Yeah. They did a good job. Here's my... Uh, <laughs> Larry Bird. Yeah, I like to play basketball, too. <laughs> I play three times a week, and we bought these, gosh, what, ten years ago? Uh-huh. Oh. I wrapped it up, you know, thinking, well, maybe someday How great. somebody would want it. Oh, yeah. Our hero. Our hero, right. So how about over here by your desk? Anything over oh, there? Let's see. Looks like you got some unusual. Well, I, These I, are family and friends I, over I'm at here. The, I'm at the age where I have a uh, son who's 40 years old, Jamie D., Jamie Dwayne, and his wife Julia, and they have a son who is five years old. And as you can see, I got pictures of him everywhere here on the desk. Uh -huh. I like grandson. to take pictures too. I just take thousands of pictures. Uh -huh. And I always like to give copies to other people, so I usually make two or three and pass them on. Uh huh. That's Jimmy wow. Rainey there, the famous jazz musician, getting his award. All right. And it's Herbie Hancock up there at the top. All right. He was just here for the Ollie uh, Center opening. Yes, he was, and so was the bass player Christian McBride. That's I right. I was down there at the center that night. That Christian used my bass. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Here's Dude. my grandson with a hat from Morocco. Some friend over in Morocco that has our play-along record sent me that hat, so I put it on him and took a picture of him. Very nice. People all the time sending me stuff. Oh, well, here's Paramahansa Yogananda. Yep, there's Paramahansa Yogananda. So, so, so did you do the uh, Kriya Yoga? No, I never did get that far along, but I still read it. As a matter of fact, I was reading uh, Kriyananda's book last night, eating my cookies and milk before I went to bed. Uh -huh. He's got a new book out on his life, and I was reading it. Really? And we sell the... Uh, Holy cow, this goes on back another cubby hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's the... Uh, I give these away. Oh, how beautiful. I'll give one to you. Well, thank it's you. A, it's a calendar. Right. A date book. It's got beautiful pictures in it and uh, sayings by Paramahansa Yogananda. Right. I've always enjoyed reading Paramahansa Yogananda. Here's a present. Well, thank you very much, yeah. Jimmy. Uh, I've just got various stuff back here. I need to... <laughs> what do I need to do? I need time. <laughs> but I kind of know where everything is. Oh, boy. You know. That's the main thing, if you can find stuff. Well, right. There's a lot to be said for, for being able to find stuff. If you get to the stage stuff. where you can't find anything, then you're in trouble. Well, do you have one last tune for us before we close out the show here? Let's see. Uh, since this piece of music is here, we ought to do the slow poke. All right. The slow Written poke by sounds... Pee Wee King from Louisville, Red Stewart. How All about right. that? That sounds great. This is how I, uh, I'm not going to play this for you, but this is how I made my first $2. Made my first money in music. Really? My p a piano teacher fired me, and then that next year I started playing the banjo. Right away I started playing the banjo. And uh, a local group here, I forget which group it was, they had a talent contest down at the Indiana Theater, which has been torn down. So I took my banjo down and uh, played uh, Slowpoke. You keep me waiting till it's getting aggravating. You're a slow poke. La, da, da. And you sang too. Oh, I sang then too. But I tell you... When I got down to the bottom of the page, I couldn't remember the words here. So I just stopped. And I wasn't looking at it. I had it memorized. Uh -huh. And I looked over to my right, and I saw the guy coming. He was going to ask me to get up.